Okay, so let's see if the saber-tooth tiger spawns. If it does, we're in good shape. No, it didn't. Wow, it's two times in a row. Nope, okay. Well, unfortunately, this run is dead. So, let's reset. And we'll try again. Okay, why is my playtime? I don't understand that. Hold on. Let me just adjust my stats here real quick. Nope, stop it. I don't like to edit that. I don't know why it's not. Maybe it's total playtime of runs, I guess. This is a new timer, so I'm not sure why it's it's doing that, but... Okay, so we'll get ready to go again here in a minute. Okay, it takes a while. Oh, get ready to try this again. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. And as always with the first part of the game, we just start by spamming the B button. And I'll hide and I hit hid behind the building so that the old man didn't find me. Alright. Nah, it's all fine. We've been friends forever. Friends forever. All right. Okay. So whenever the Duke calls, we want to hit maybe. Thank you. Head up and see him. And again, continue to spam that B button. I'm gonna have really good thumb dexterity by the, at the end of this run, or at the end of this. Ah, oh, quit kissing his ass. It'll be fine. Well, that's true. Oh, good point. <laughs> that's so true. If you spent any time on the internet, you know that um, the advice of others can prove to be invaluable. That is so true. Yes. All right. Indeed. Here he goes again. That's true. Oh, that sounds good. Yes, sir. They're very formal there. I like that. Secret of Atlantis. Okay. Sounds good. Rocco, Rocco, where are you? Awesome. Forge him into a man, Rocco. I'm a man. Let's head over to the cafe so we can get some money. The whole town is in uproar. Yes, the whole six buildings. Of course you would. Ah, oh, we don't even know if she can sing. What if she can't? I, well, trust me, actually, you'll be able to return it just fine. It's really not that hard to make money in this game if you know what you're doing. And Lucy apparently has no troubles just walking up to the house of a duke and, you know, asking, you know, she's just going to go talk to royalty. Girl's got some balls, I will say that. Her name is Lucia, not Missy. Right. But we're not actually going to do that because I don't need mom's help. I'm going to be just fine. Plus, it's, it wastes time, and we don't want to do that. Get out of the way. Here we go. Go pick up our ship, because it would be helpful to have a ship. All right, 
Very good. The Hermes 2. I'm wondering if the first one was called the Hermes 1. But that would only make sense. And well, we can't have that. We can't have sense in a video game. And especially with video game logic. Woo. Indeed. Okay. Professor Enrico. It's a monkey! What the hell is a monkey doing here? Oh, it's a person. Ha! Huh. A Lisbon University that we'll never be able to see. Because apparently it doesn't exist in our, in our world map. It's true. Okay, sounds good. It actually isn't going to take too terribly long. You got a point there. We'll make progress little by little. Or a lot at a time, because that's how I do. Now, we're going to go back inside here and actually do something like where we can increase our luck stat all the way to 100. And luck is a hidden stat. And to do that, we go ahead and donate the money that they were going to give to us. Yeah, and good fortune. So that means like encounter rate of storms, how easy it is for people to stay loyal to you, blah, 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 blah. So it's a good thing to do, and it doesn't really cost anything. So there you go. Uh-huh. Ah, a rapier. Except, I don't actually need it. So this is how we're going to get our money to buy a light galley. We're going to actually sell this rapier because I don't want it. Perfect. And you could say no to perhaps barter a little bit more, but there's not a chance that the bartering will work, and it gives you like an extra 700 gold, and I don't really need it. So, let's get out of here. Nope, we're fine. And it usually takes you about five and a half minutes to get out of here. That's pretty good time. My best is like 527, so it's like a few seconds, but it's not too bad. Okay, so now we're going to start to the uh, head to the southwest. So we're going to head down to the port of Madeira. And here at Madeira, we're going to pick up a new ship. Nope. There you go. Very good. We're going to get a much, much better ship at basically no cost to us. So let's go over here. Actually, I know quite a bit about ships. Nope. Okay, let's use a used ship. And it's a light galley didn't even spawn. Wow. Okay, and the run is dead. The light galley didn't spawn. Wow. It's crazy. Okay, got to reset. Not having much luck here. Okay. All right, very good. Try this again. Okay. Right, get ready to try this again. In three, two, one, go. There we go. And we start the game by just spamming the B button. And Joao's gonna hide behind a building. so we don't have to deal with the old man. That's so true. All right. Oh, she feels like singing. We've been friends forever. Friends forever. All right. Well, that's enough of that. Okay, well, the Duke wants to see us, so let's go see what the Duke has to say. Maybe if this person will get out of my way. Thank you. Don't get in a noble's way. Hi, Marco. Alright. Yes. Eh, yeah, quit sucking up. Let me find a whoop that ass. Well, that's true. Right. Oh, that's so true. If you spent any time on the internet, 
you know that the advice of others is not necessarily great. And we'll just leave it at that. Yes, sir. Very formal. Right? There he goes again. That's true. Uh-huh. Awesome. Let's do it. Sounds fun. Secret of Atlantis. Sounds good. Rocco, Rocco, where are you? Ahoy, sir. I'm right here. Sounds good. Righto, Captain. I mean, Duke, sir. Forge him into a man. Oh, a man! Because apparently spending time on sea makes you a man. Whatever. It was a different time back then. We'll go to the cafe so we can get some money. Indeed. Well, that sounds nice. Wow. Yeah, we don't even know if Lucia can sing. A Lucia or a Lu Lucia? Maybe it's, I think it's Lucia. I have a cousin named Lucia, actually. I just thought of that. Huh. Uh-huh. And Lucia is apparently just going to walk up and just walk right into the house of a noble. Girl's got balls, I'll tell you that. Whee! And then just jumps over the counter. Her name is Lucia, not Missy. All right, very good. Okay, and now we're gonna go get my ship. Because that could be useful if you wanna go sailing. The Hermes 2. I'm guessing that in the day it was the ship that was sailed on was the Hermes 1, would be my guess, but that would make sense. And video game logic just doesn't exist. If you've played any games, you know that video game logic does not exist. Yep. All right, Professor Enrico. Hey, a monkey showed up. I thought we were looking for a professor. Oh, it's a human. In the back, he looks just like a monkey. Lisbon University, which we will never see in this game. Because there's like eight buildings in town. Ah, Zipangu. Oh, cool. Sounds good. That's true. And it actually isn't going to take as long as we thought, as we think, and we'll go over that here in a little bit. Well, in real time, it won't. In game time, it will sort of. Really, this is going to take about a couple years in game time. Not even that. Okay, what we're going to do here is I'm going to donate this back because what this does is it increases our luck to 100. And luck is kind of a hidden stat that influences how often we get storms, uh, how we interact with other sailors to hire on our team, blah, 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 blah. So it's a good thing to do and it doesn't really cost anything. So, ah, now we're going to find a way to get a little bit of extra money here because we have this rapier, but I don't need it. So I'm going to turn around and sell it. This is going to give us our money for a light galley. Yep. And you could say no and barter with him to get like an extra 700 gold, but there's not a chance that he'll barter with you, and it's really not worth it. So I wouldn't worry about it. We're also not going to get the aquamarine tiara from our mother, because I don't need mom's help. All right. And that's pretty good. It usually takes you around 5 minutes and 30 seconds to get out of Lisbon the start of the game. Okay, and we're going to sail directly to the southwest to the port of Madeira. So let's start over here. Nope. We're going to wait till daytime. There we go. Very good. Now we're going to go to the shipyard. We're going to pick up a light galley. We're basically going to get a free upgrade. Well, it's going to cost 140 gold to get a free upgrade of a ship. At least I think it's a better ship anyway. So, let's get a used ship. Usually a light galley spawns here. There it is. My last playthrough, this is zero of them spawned, so... It's crazy. Nope. 
We'll do 1200. I think he accepts as low as like 1185, but this is easier and it's like 15 gold, so I'm not going to worry about it. Call it A. Now we're going to remodel our new ship. Yep. And we're going to do 10 bunks and zero guns. Yep. Okay, let's get everything transferred over. Okay, zero men. I think women, women can be sailors too. I don't know why they say, and we're gonna increase the population of Madeira by 10. Let's assign our crew. 50, 50 and zero. Yep. And now we've got our rations, 190. Yep. Very good. And now we're gonna sell our old ship, which is a piece of junk. And there's six cargo on there, but transferring it over isn't worth the time. It saves you like 60 gold. It's not a big deal. Very good. Awesome. All right, we have a much better ship, a much faster ship. So let's get out of here. Okay, now comes the part of the game where we can determine if we can actually, actually do a run. We need to get three or two out of these upcoming three villages to spawn. And if we can, then we can do a run. If not, then unfortunately, we're going to have to start over when we explore Greenland. So, 55 days, that's plenty of days. So, well, let's head north. We should get a stowaway here. I believe it's going into the 22nd. All right, I believe it's going into this day. Should get a stowaway. Yep. Throw him overboard! You big lout! Yeah, I'll whoop his ass, Rocco. Rocco has a battle level of 32, I mean. Alright. Uh, sure. We're gonna let this guy join the crew? Why not? Sure. So we're gonna let this random dude who may murder us and throw us overboard stay on board. Sure. What could possibly go wrong with that? <sighs> and actually, nothing does go wrong with this. It's just kind of odd. Okay, and his name is Sunday Tomorrow. Because that's Domingo Manana, Sunday tomorrow. So, there's that. Okay, we're going to head directly to the north to find the supply port of Hecla, which should be up here. Eventually, there it is. Go up here, and there it is. Very good. And now we're going to look for the Great Auk. And if the Great Auk spawns up here, then we're in good shape. If it doesn't, well, then we still have a chance, but it really helps if the Great Ox spawns here. If it doesn't, again, it's not a big deal, but... And there it is. Good. Okay. And now what we want to do here is entertain the villagers up to 30. Because they, that's uh, the level to find the Great Ox. Great Auk. Very good. Now, good. Now I just need one of these next two monsters to spawn, and if it does, then I can do a run of the game. Because that will give me the money I need and the fame I need to trigger the next series event of events to get the run started. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to do a safety save here. Because I need Zhuo's knowledge to go up when he gets a level. Perfect. Okay, great. Because I need his, I need it to be 75 when we return, in order to get cartography skills, which is what which we need to get more fame adventure to win the game. So supply, it's fine. We have more than enough money. Very good. Well, let's go. All right. So I got the great ox. So that's good. So now what I need is. Now what I need to have happen is I need one of these two star level discoveries to spawn. And if they spawn, we're in good shape. Down this way. Up 
this way. And then we're going to run into a ton of fleets throughout the game, and I really don't care, because I'm really not going to interact with any of them. Except for the ones that I have to for uh, the purposes of, story, of the story. But other than that, I really have no need to interact with any fleet in this game. Especially that one who's going hella slow. This loot music is very calming, I will say. That's very nice. starting to get pretty cold. It's a good thing it's June, otherwise it'd be like super, I mean it's still super cold, but not as bad as it would be if it was like January or February. Okay, so let's see if this thing will spawn. Perfect. Okay, I can do a run. Excellent. This is good. And we're going to entertain all the way up to 60. Yep, okay, I can officially do a speed run of the game. Let's, as long as two of these three spawn, we're in good shape. All the way up to 60. I like this village music too, it's pretty cool. It's very mysterious in a way. It's like mysterious, but it's like a calming mysterious. It's cool. Alright, and now? Oh my god! It's unfortunate. And there's your saber tooth tiger. Oops! Nope, wait, I forgot. I need to plunder the village now. Eh, I figured that was gonna happen. No big deal. But we got food. And let's go. Okay, now I need to assign my crew. We'll need to go 100, 100. There we go. No big deal. Okay, and we're going to go check for the other one, just because it's relatively close, and it could be another star level discovery. I believe that's Jack Rackham, but I don't care. Yeah, we're doing just fine. If we run into a problem, we can just stop and search for water if we need to. Okay, let's go check for this other star level discovery. Again, again, it's relatively close. And it's worth checking. Because you never know which... Again, because you're dealing with RNG, like in a great deal of RNG, um, you never know what's going to spawn. So we have to check, unfortunately. If it's not there, not a big deal. Oops. Up here. Let's see if it spawns in there. It did spawn. Okay, cool. Awesome. We are in really good shape that these three spawned. Now we'll entertain. Same thing here. We're going to get all the way up to 60. Because this is another star level discovery. Yeah, the start of this game. Now, this the start of this could not be going any better. Now I'm going to have a lot of money to work with, which is great, and a lot of fame to work with too, so that's, that's really terrific. Again, you need two out of the three of these, otherwise you can't do a run. And we'll make up for it because uh, this means that some other star level discoveries won't spawn. So it all balances out. Get all the way up to 60. Search. Ah, crap. And there's the mammoth. Now we need to plunder one more time, unfortunately. Just to make sure we can get back. If that lose if you plunder, you lose your charm, but it's again, that's the only time I'm gonna be plundering throughout the game. Okay, good. Now we're gonna head back to Forel. I load up and then we're gonna head down to Bordeaux to sell my discoveries. And get the money I need to 
and fame I need to advance the game. Now head to the southwest until we hit land again. Not this land, I mean another island, the other island. I promise I know where I'm going. Let me just double check, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah. It's always okay to check your map, just in case. Don't ever be afraid to do that. Especially if you need to stop for water and stuff like that. Totally cool. Pushing the start button to do that. By the way, uh, throughout the run, I'll probably be taking some breaks and stuff like that, but I'll be pausing it, pausing the timer at places when I can do that, and it doesn't affect me actually moving around because this is—I'm guessing this is going to take about five hours, and well, my bladder is not going to be able to hold for that long. So, but again, it's a completely legit, verified, all that good stuff. So, okay, do safety save here. Just make sure my knowledge goes up. Oops. Perfect. Okay, we're in good shape. I'll be able to get cartography. Alright, very good. Okay, now supply. Yep. And... 110 days. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense, because... Um, I only have... I have half my crew that I did before when I could sail for 55 days, so, and that makes sense. All right, we'll cross back over. Now here you have to check this one, because I can never remember. Okay, yeah, I'll go over here, it's all right. Because now we want to make our way down to Bordeaux. Yeah, so the start of this run is going very well. Very pleased. Oh, there's a ship right there. Well, how about that? Yep, and we'll head right over here to Bordeaux. Okay. First thing we're going to do is give ourselves the capital to start the game. So, let's go sell our discoveries. Fame 300. Nope, I know what I'm doing. Contract. Completely fine. Okay, discovery. And we'll get our three discoveries. Very good. Now watch this. Yeah. 100,000 gold, 10 gold ingots. So that's why if you just get two out of the three of those, you're fine. You, you're, you have more than enough money, and I'll show you that. World's Greatest Adventure. I got two, two star level discoveries right away. That's actually pretty darn good. Okay, and just like that, 3,800 fame and adventure. That's great. If you only have, you only need 2,300 fame and adventure to, for the next part of the game. So that's why if you only get two out of the three of those, you're completely fine. Now what we want to do is buy, oh, split there. And now I want to get five bombs. Forgot to get my split there. There's two. Three. Four. And here's five. Very good. Okay, now what we want to do is head down to the shipyard and look for a La Real. Hopefully they have one. If not, not a big deal. Let's see if they have one. Nope, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm actually gonna invest 100,000 gold so that they'll be able to build La Reals for me at, in, at the beginning of August. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end up buying a new La Real, I think. We'll see. 
Beautiful. Okay, next thing we want to do is head up to Amsterdam. So we can learn cartography, check for La Royale, and go to the cafe. Oh, that, that's kind of creepy. That ship's just kind of hanging out there. A little glitch. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, uh, I'm going to wait till daytime. Just to make sure. There we go. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go learn... Uh, actually, first let's check for a ship. See if there's a La Royale here. Nope. Okay, no big deal. So I'll just build a new La Royale um, at the beginning of August. No big deal. You learn to lose a little time, but it's not the end of the world. It's not worth it to go searching. Oops. Learn skills. Yes. Now we'll sign a contract. Sounds good. Now, unfortunately, you can't report until you've until after you've um, until after you've uh, sailed somewhere after you're learning cartography skills, which is kind of weird. But it's fine. Glass beads are the local specialty. So let's go ahead and buy some glass beads. We want to buy some here, and we only have 14. It's completely fine. We just want to buy a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, damn, Marquis Martinez. Oh, I see. A lodge? Okay. Sure. Let's see what's going on at the lodge, I suppose. Oh, the shipyard. Well, that's not good. is over here. Uh oh. That's not good. Domingo, where are you? What are you doing with Domingo? Alright, let's whoop this guy's ass. With no sword and no armor. Yeah. So, you want to throw this battle. Um, so just like in other versions, uh, I want to throw this battle. Because it doesn't matter if you win it or not. Beautiful. I was hoping that would be a little stronger, but no big deal. Right, one more, and I should lose. Beautiful. Throwing that battle is completely fine. We're going to do that again here in a little bit. Uh oh. Catalina's here! Nice. Uh huh. Whoop that ass. Good job. Girl power. I love it. I don't know. Ah, I'll play a tune for you. Wait, what? Well, that was quick. Man, she won. That was quick. What? What are you talking about? Wait, what? What the hell are you talking about? Indeed. Let's get out of here. To the harbor. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Oh boy. I see. Interesting. Well, that's so true. Wait, what? Man, it's the prince! Oh my god! Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Let's do it. Well, let's go. Normally I'd buy more glass beads, but because I have that extra money to work with, I don't need them. Wow, so many ships. There's just a discovery up here. Let's check and see. Yep, there is. Cool. Might as well. Sometimes there's a discovery there, sometimes there isn't. Uh, okay, I've already invested, so we're good. Now let's head back to Lisbon. That ship is motoring. Don't worry, we'll be getting there too. Very good. Now let's head home. Oh boy, that's no good. We gotta stop them. That's alright. Wait, how, how did they tell? Oh boy, not this guy again. Oh, really? Let's do it. And we're gonna throw this battle yet again in front of our mother. Because it's not like she doesn't have enough to worry about. Yeah, with zero battle experience and and no sword. Damn. And I'm just using the weakest commands, trying to get this over with as quickly as possible. Oops. Now that'll work. That'll work. Oh no, it's the lose. It's the losing music. Stabs him in the back. I understand. Good point. All right, let's go. Palace. He was to the Great Hall. Quickly. Oh man. Gasp. Yep. Do a little uh, nepotism here because it's son-in-law. There's some nepotism. All right, the prince. All right. Blazers are all good. Curses. Oh, that Marky Martinez, and we'll never see Marky Martinez again. All right. Now, before going back, we're gonna go over here. Pick up a telescope. I know. Priorities. Now we get a telescope. Yep. Good. And now I'll go 
back here. Absolutely. Oh, anytime. Nope, we're gonna keep going. Thank you. And if you say no, yeah, you get a rare sword, so that's awesome. We're gonna actually, that actually is gonna be useful. Right. Sure. Well, let's go then. Good. And now, we go ahead and put the flamberge on, level A thrusting sword. So we'll do that. And we get 1,000 Fame Adventure, 1,000 Fame of Piracy. Cool. Awesome. Very good. And I believe that's everything. Let's go. All right. Now, next thing I need to do is I need to go order a La Real, but unfortunately I can't do that until August 1. So we're going to have to kill a little bit of time. If you got a La Real, then you would just you would immediately go to the next part. But this I found is just a lot easier. This is a guarantee that you'll get a La Real if one doesn't spawn right there. So we're just going to... Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang out right here in case a pirate shows up. And we're just going to hang out for a little bit, and then I'm going to pick up my La Real. Yeah, I'm just going to hang out until August 1, watching for pirates. I think some folks are going to invest here, which is cool. But unfortunately, they don't reset until August 1. And unfortunately, you can't buy a new La Real unless you invest here. this is the best way to do it but it's the best way that I've found it's and it's a guarantee awesome still neutral now we head over to the shipyard and we're gonna order a new La Real and there it is I will which get teak is fine. Now, oops, we'll just do 330, it's fine. Time to name your ship, and we'll call it M. All right, 40 bunks, zero guns. No problem. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to fill up on crew. Oops, I'm going to the cafe. Nope. Really isn't. We should. I need five. Yep. Okay, now let's assign our crew. And there you go. All right, very good. Okay, I need to take just a quick uh, bathroom break. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and we're ready to go, and we'll get things started in three, two, one, go. All right, now what I need to do is uh, we have to wait some time for the ship to be built. So. We're gonna go explore. 
It's really all we can do, unfortunately, is we might as well go get some more fame adventure. And we actually need to do that in order to be able to advance the plot. So, we're going to start exploring Africa right away. Start heading down to Timbuktu. Timbuktu is our goal because then we can, and that's what, if I didn't get the two star level discoveries, what I would do is sell my glass beads uh, there. Buy more, I buy more glass beads and sell them there. Uh, and buy, well, I'll show you. Okay. Oh, shoot, you know what I need to do? I just realized. We need Rocco to be my first mate and Enrico to be my bookkeeper so that we can detect storms. If Rocco is your first mate, he can detect storms. He's very good at detecting storms. It's a combination of his high intuition stat and his luck stat. Good. Good. All this is all going well. Probably get a storm around here soon, I would think. Okay, this way. There should be some more ports up here. Good. And there, I believe San Jorge is next. Good. Can you tell I've played this game a little bit? Okay. Now we need to head up this river to go find Timbuktu. Nothing over there. Sometimes there's a couple of villages up here. Sometimes there's a village right along here. That wasn't in this case. And sometimes there's a village right there. There it is. Now again, the villages, you never know what uh, villages you're going to get until you get there. Like, oops. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's random every single time you start a new game. So just be aware of that. Okay. Very good. Cool. And now what I'm going to do here is we're going to go here. And now we're going to sell our glass beads, because you get a decent rate for them. So again, normally I'd buy more of them. And I want to purchase gold. $7.98, yeah, yeah, so it's not bad. Okay, I need to make sure I have enough to get back, so let's buy 60 lots of gold. Yeah, that's good. That'll be enough to get me back. Now again, if I had less money, I'd buy a little bit less, but just enough to make sure that I can get back safely, because you need to be able to actually get back. Shocking concept, I know. And if you need to stop a little bit along the way, it's totally fine. 25 days, that's perfect. No problem. And again, if you need to stop along the way, you can. But bringing that gold back is going to give you some of the money to... Uh, fund your journey. Okay, I'm going to check for one more village, then I'll start heading back. And covering a little bit more of the world map. Or in this case, the world map, which is in this case, the world. Okay, and I believe it's right along here. Sometimes you can find a village. Doesn't look like it. So, okay, start heading back. Yeah, usually it's right along that coastline right there where it extends out. But it was not the case this time, so we'll start heading back. There's your storm. It took a little longer than usual. I wonder if that's because my luck stat is kicking in. Okay, 
And now we're going to start heading back to Bordeaux. And... Picking up my ship. Selling my gold and picking up my ship. I'm glad this music is so calming. It makes the the game go by a nice, nice calm way. I like it. I'm doing on days. Got to close. I'll have to stop in Bordeaux anyway. I normally be like seven and nine. Oh my god, he's got no stuff left. That's fine. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Very good. Now the stat I want to increase is seamanship. Okay, well we might as well report this discovery. Get a little more money. couple cool always want to report your discoveries for fame and also for uh, money and we'll sell our gold Good profit there. Good profit. Good profit. Okay. And let's go. I'll need to supply here. Yeah, and I have enough money now to easily. It's 52 days, so September 22nd I'll need to go back. And pick up my ship. And I don't really want to go too far. Oh my god, that ship disappeared! Now, the port of Nantes is right up there. So now I'm just gonna wait and pick up our ship. There's no really... Well, I guess, I guess you could... Well, yeah, you know what? I can go up to... I can go up drop off the cartography stuff. Safety safe here just in case. But I think this should be okay. Oh, wait, you know what? I can't do this. I'm an idiot. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. What, 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 am, I, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yes, 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 yes I can. You know what? I just realized it didn't it didn't matter because I mean it gives you a little more money is fine. Uh well it could be okay. Because now I don't have to go get sugar. Actually, no, this works out, this works out, this works out, because now I don't have to get sugar. Now that I've got a little extra money, yeah, yeah, now I don't have to get sugar, so I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Because normally if you don't have the star level discoveries, you'd have to buy sugar in Madeira to take it over, but now I don't have to do that. Because I have extra money, so I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm totally fine. And now I can head right over to Madeira. Okay, waiting here in case the pirates come. Portuguese target the British, which is interesting. I 
Jell's quest is a it's the first it can get kind of boring, but once you get going and start exploring, I mean it becomes a lot of fun. So the first part of it's kind of boring. Alright. Our ship should be ready. Second, 52 days. There it is. Well, let's do it. Okay. Now I do want to actually. And actually, I'm not worried about cargo because I have enough. I have enough money. I'm okay, I can just buy some. Oops. I guess I could have done sailors too, and it's totally fine. I lost a little time there, but that's alright. Fine. Good. Okay. Now, let's assign our crew. And for this one, we want 75 and 25. Yep. And now, we need to get Rocco back as our first mate. There you go. Cool. And now I'll go to the cafe so I can get some sailors. Almost had a heart attack. I was like, oh god, I don't want the next event to trigger. No, I think you need 7,000 fame adventure for the next part to trigger, so it should be alright. I think. All right, very good. Ooh, getting it close. Should be all right, though. If I encounter the next part early, it's not a big deal. Again, now normally if I if I needed to, I would go to Madeira and buy some sugar to take over. And if you wanted to run this and you need to, at this point, go to Madeira and buy sugar. Um... Uh, go to Madeira and buy sugar and bring it over because that will easily fund your ventures. And now we're just going to head directly to the left. Start exploring the Americas. But yeah, if you need to buy, if you don't have a, if you didn't get the two star level discoveries there, buy sugar and take it. Because it sells for you buy sugar and Madeira for thirteen and sell for like eighty in the Americas. So buy about two hundred of it and then sell it, and you'll have more than enough money to um, to fund your voyages there. Because the La Real is easily manageable, very easy to manage. Okay, time to explore the Americas. We go to the southwest. Let's see what we can find. I don't believe there's anything up there. Just check that, but I don't believe there is. Nope. First thing I'm looking for is that's the Cape Cod. That's what I was looking for. Awesome. Now I'll start looking for villages. Ah, an exotic animal. Very good. Passenger pigeon. And if you want to read up on all these, you can pause the video or just do a Google search for all these and it'll tell you what they all are. All right. Ah, monument. Very good. Totem pole. Cool. Alright. There's your 
storm. This is why you need five bombs. Alright. There's Havana. We'll be going... Well, we won't be going there. If you had sugar, sell your sugar at Havana before exploring this part. Because that'll be it'll be about the number of days. Go up here. There's potentially a couple of the villages up here. This way. There's just one up here. And now that we have the telescope, we can and ten people assigned to look out. Uh, we can see the entire length of the screen, so you don't have to go all the way up, which saves a couple seconds here and a couple seconds there, which is over the course of the game adds up. If you have a map and you know where you're going. There's a village right there. There we go. I can't remember what this one is. I can't remember this being a good one. Most of the time, the villages you find at the end of rivers and stuff like that tend to be pretty good. And you want to get the, the higher levels because that means it's a better level discovery, more fame and adventure, and more money. This is a good one, at least 40. And I always do it in, in groups of 10 so that it saves time. Ah, there we go. Natural Wonder. Ah, Niagara Falls. Very good. The only ones that I know for sure where they are are the star level discoveries. I've made a note of that. The rest of them I can't quite remember what they are. Again, I'm guessing the run's going to take me about five hours. Which again, my bladder is not the best, so... Oops. Okay, let's explore over this way. Village. And this should be a cultural artifact, I believe. Yay, victory music and a cultural artifact. I don't know if you get any extra money for that, but it's something. Okay, how are we doing on days? Mm, yeah, it wouldn't kill us to stop. Air cruise, by the way, the specialty here is gold. So if you want to invest in it, you can. There in Rio de Janeiro, the specialty is gold. And I have more than enough money to fund my ventures. So we're good. Now along here, if you have cargo, I believe it makes you throw it away. Now we're gonna go down this way. There's Guatemala. Sometimes there's a village right there. We're gonna start exploring all these. There's a lot of stuff. The reason I like doing the Americas first is because there's a ton of stuff and it gives a major boost to your fame and adventure. Cartagena. And now we're going to go over here and get Maracaibo. And now I'm going to go straight up. And we're going to get all of these ports here. Jamaica. Santiago should be up here. And then we'll over here to Santo Domingo. If you need to get Balm, you can get Balm in Santo Domingo. Good, and there's nothing else of interest there, so we'll go down. There's Caracas. Sometimes there's a village near Caracas. 
margarita, which I love me a good margarita. Big fan of the margarita. So, what the hell is a person doing all the way out here? Okay. Yeah, so you can see I got a lot of villages earlier, but again, sometimes they spawn, sometimes they don't. So as long as you have a map with you, you're going to be fine as far as what villages to get. You're going to be just fine. And there's a lot of villages in the Amazon. I'm going to stop in Cayenne. Because if all of these hit, we're going to need all of our food. Again, because the RNG is so random, you just never know. And we'll be coming back to Cayenne, trust me. Now let's explore the Amazon. There, you, there isn't one down that way, so we'll just go here. Okay. Good, natural wonder. Pororoca. Cool. All right, there's a couple up here, so we'll check. Potentially. Again, you have to check because again, you just you just we're gonna we're gonna probably pass by about 75 villages throughout the game, but not all of them are gonna spawn. About 40 of them, 49 of them spawn per game, so you just never know. It's completely random with a balance of all different levels of discoveries, I believe. I mean, it has to, otherwise you can't win the game. They at I have to imagine they at least spawn a certain number of star level discoveries so you can actually win the game. It's out of camp, well, very good. The Mata Mata. And your splits are going to be a little bit different depending on how many villages you get, so it's it'll, it's going to be completely different every single time. The RNG is... Now we actually have to deal with RNG, unlike in um, the other runs where RNG wasn't as big of a factor. Comes out there is, a, is the Piranha, which can be deadly. So just watch for that one. I don't believe there's anything down here. I'll check it though. Oh, there is. Okay. Oh, I, I got my map screwed up. Okay, I know where I am now. Good. Tarantula. Yeah, there. You don't want to get bitten by one of those. Okay, I'll just check for one more. That spawns up here. The other thing about this run too is you have to be ready to call a lot of audibles because you never know. Oh, the end of one, it's only a 10 one? That's a gold frog. Fortunately, you don't get any gold from the gold frog, but I digress. Um, yeah, you have to be ready to call a lot of audibles because you don't know what villagers are going to spawn, if you're attacked, uh, you know, there's so much RNG in the adventurer's run that You've just got to be ready to call audibles, so that's why having a lot of experience and having a plan is very helpful. If you go directly to the right, you can pretty much get all the way out of there. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'll stop in... 
I'll probably start stop at the supply port. Before we're all done. There's Pernambucco up here. There it is. We'll be stopping there too. Later in the game, for sure. When we come back as a wealthy person. There's Rio de Janeiro, we'll be stopping there too. Not right now, but eventually. And there's the supply port, and we'll definitely stop here. We are totally doing fine on money. If only two of those spawned, I probably only have about five gold bars right now, which is more than enough. Trust me. Trust me. Alright. No problem. Very good. The toucan. If it's Toucan Sam. Alright, we'll explore this part, and this will be the last that we explore in the Americas. Then we'll head back, drop our stuff off, and that'll be the split. Okay, up this way, a couple of villages this way, and a couple up top. Or one up top. I'm hoping the one at the end of this river spawns because. It's a star level discovery. This could be a good one. Victory music! And a cultural artifact, the clay monster. Cool. I don't think they have any extra, for some reason they just give you an extra victory music. Ah, here's the one I wanted. Awesome. I believe this... No, uh, wait, no, it isn't this one, I don't think. Let's check. Oh, no, it is, it is, okay. So I gotta entertain this one all the way up to 60. is all the way to 60. This is a star level discovery. I thought this was the one. I should double check my notes, but yeah, this is the one. Should be a monster. Oh my god! Yep, the giant ground sloth. Star level discovery. Beautiful thing. Now let's go up check this end. Nope. Okay. And now we're gonna head back home. Went too much. Oh, I'm good. I can make it back. Especially now that I've lost some crew, I can totally make it back. I 
I'll do safety save just in case, but... Start heading directly to the northeast. Then we'll go report my discoveries. We're doing pretty good on storms, actually. I think I mentioned this, but I, I, I anticipate this will take about five hours. There's some triggers in this game that, that can be finicky. But we'll get it. Off to Bordeaux. Watch out for pirates as you get back to Europe. Because that would be catastrophic if you got attacked by a pirate. Just be very careful. Christmas time. I'll wait till day. Because I'm going to start triggering some events here. Seamanship. Excellent. That's the stat I want to go up the most. Okay. I'll drop these off. Get all these out. I should have shown you how much I've I've, I've got about seven thousand fame in adventure right now. Maybe a little more. Maybe that's seventy five hundred. I mean, it doesn't matter. All that matters is how much I have at the end of this. Tarantula. Gold frog. Toucan. Toucan Sam. And the clay monster. Finally, our our star level discovery. And there it is. Awesome. Cool. Very good. Twelve thousand fame. Beautiful. Oh, that didn't, oh, didn't trigger that. Huh. Okay, I guess I'll have to go up to the next port. That's fine. No big deal. Uh, actually, no, wait, I'm not going to do that. Sorry, I'm just going to sail. Because now I do actually need to monitor my money here. Come on. Thank you. Well, these ships are all over the place. Hmm. Interesting. 
relationship looks lost. Man, this is odd. It's an odd barrage of ships. Very interesting. Okay. No big deal. Stop here. Okay, I'll drop this off. Now, if we go to the cafe, we should trigger the next part of the game. We should, anyways. There we go. I am. Ah, crap. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, well, let's check some different buildings here. Oh dear, she found us! Get out of there! Get back to the ship, Joao! Alright, let's get out of here. Absolutely. Rog was a big... Well, I don't know. She's pretty tough. Worse than a mountain lion. <laughs> nice job. Alright. Let's go. And, our, and we're totally good on days. Okay. Now you just want to go to another port at this point. Preferably starting heading towards London. There we go. Very good. We get to do this twice. Yes. Oh boy. Okay, bye! How'd she get here before us? I don't quite get that. That's just me. Much like before, we'll just go in buildings. No chance she'll find us. Or she'll find us! Oh my god! Back to the boat! Yeah, so this happens twice. Let's get out of here. It happens all the time. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Every time, the whole two times we've had to do this. Once again in the merchants. Once again in the merchants' place. But yeah, she hates us more than you. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Now, next thing we're gonna do is head to another port. And I like the I like going over to London and doing it this way. Good. This is weird. There's a lot of ships going on. This is crazy. And we'll stop in London. Now after this, you want to go to the harbor first because I believe this is the next trigger. Yep. I am. <laughs> It is becoming troublesome, for sure. Okay, now what we're going to do is we actually need to outfit our ship and get ready for a fight. So, let's get some crew. I did, don't care. Oh, shit, I forgot to remodel. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Oops. Ah, I screwed up. I forgot to. I lost a little bit of time because I forgot to remodel my ship first. Shoot. My bad. Okay, uh, I need to go cargo. 
Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Forgot to remodel. My bad. Low capacity. It's fine. Very good. Okay, now we can actually start to hire a crew. So yeah, I lost a little bit of time there. My bad. Yep. Good. I hope there aren't any bed bugs. That could be a problem. Now we need to hire more crew. We'll have to do this one more day because you need 240 sailors. I did. Don't care. Now, fortunately, because you don't have a royal rank, you can only hit, um, hire 100 at a time. That's why it's, you want to do this in a big port like London where you can hire the most sailors. We'll do this one more time and then we'll be ready to go. Yep. Hope there are any bed bugs. That could be a problem. We'll go round up some folks who are drinking at 8 in the morning. I did, don't care. Good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is sign my crew. One. And 99. And now we definitely do a safety save. Let's go. Because as soon as you leave the port, we're attacked. Oh boy. Let's do it. Am I popular with the pirates or with the ladies? Okay, now hopefully she doesn't challenge me to a duel. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Not challenge to a duel. Very good. Yeah, definitely do not want her to duel if if you can avoid it. Yeah, she starts out with a fleet of Ah, damn. Okay. Hopefully we can win this. Okay, fortunately, okay, she has a lashing sword. So if anything, just you just want to survive this duel. Because then I can perfect. I just want to survive this duel. Because then I can, um, I can just keep rushing and win. Perfect. That didn't kill her? Damn. Okay, come on. Damn it. I thought about striking too. Please don't thrust. I would just thrust and then block and just hope. Perfect. Yeah, this might do it. Damn it. Come on. There we go. That should do it. Got it. A hundred gold, that's it? Oof. Okay, now we want to definitely get a ship that's got max crew, because I'm actually going to upgrade my La Real here. 
Okay, we know it's comma. We'll take the other one, it doesn't matter, because I have enough crew. Okay, let's take 100, 60, and we're good. There we go. Okay, very good. Now, definitely need to pause for just a second to use the restroom, but I'll be right back and then we'll get, we'll continue on. Okay, back and ready to go. If there's one thing I inherited from my mother, it's a small bladder, but let's continue. Three, two, one, go. Okay, now, first thing we need to do we need to get our ships all in good shape here. So, we're going to take uh, this, put it here. Let's miss 52 minutes, totally cool. And now what we're going to do is let's remodel our new ship here because it's got an upgraded 40. Zero. Yep. Oops. And now we're going to sell this old ship that's all beat up. We use one of Catalina's new ones. And AA as well. Yep. Very good. Now we need to assign crew. Very good. Now let's get Rocco and Enrico back in their positions so we can detect storms. Very good. Now, if we go to the cafe, the next event should be triggered. Yep. That was fast. Probably not, since we just whooped her ass. Uh-oh. I recognize that music! Hey, it's Ali Vezas! I just did his walkthrough not too long ago. Or his, uh... Speed run. Uh huh. What? Lucia's gone? That all happened. Allie did a little dance there. Uh huh. Oh boy. Sure. Uh, I don't know. Wait, what? Absolutely, I want money. Oh, I see. So now we need to go find Safa. Bio. I won't forget, trust me. They take off. Rando guy runs in. Is excited to be back drinking. What do you mean? Okay. Let's go back to Lisbon and we'll think about our next move. Good call. Now, I would not buy food or water here, and I'll explain why here in just a moment. Because I'm actually going to do a little bit of trading, because I have to stop off in Lisbon anyway. To trigger the next thing. Also, now with this La Real, we're really starting to cruise. This is good. How am I doing on the bomb? I just thought about that. Yeah, I get a couple more. I should have picked this up when I was there. I forgot to. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I forgot to pick this up while I was here. My bad. We should be fine, but we'll only get we'll only get now we'll get three more. Forgot to pick this up while I was here. Very 
good. Let's go back to Lisbon. For real this time. It's fine. I wish I could use turbo mode, but unfortunately, that's cheating. Ooh. I'm guessing that's a Portuguese. Oh, pirate! Yikes! We'll avoid that person. Sure. Oh man. Oh boy. Absolutely not. All right. Well, now we got to go find. Now we need to go find Catalina and Safa. Fortunately, I know where Safa is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a quick trip over to Seville. Get some information and also to pick up something. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go over to the mark. Ah, uh, sorry. I need to go to the cafe first. Hey, waiter! Oof. Uh huh. Please try to remember. Some desolate port in the Middle East! I think, we, I think if you just if you don't know where to go, it says, well, She's not at this port, so you have to try all the ports in the Middle East to find them. But what I want to do, though, is I want to bring some stuff out there and make a little bit more money, just to guarantee my world tour is going to go fine. What I want to do is I want to buy guns. They're called arms. Those are not human arms. Those are guns. And we'll buy 200 lots of guns. Probably could have just bought 100, but that's okay. Just want to be sure that you have enough money to fund this world tour. Yep. Let's go. Off we go. To Basra we go. Discovering villages along the way. <sighs> I know throughout this, there's going to be spots where if I want to run it again... Well, we'll see how this run goes. We'll see how this run goes. I'm actually doing pretty good on time. I'll probably start my world tour just under two hours. Which is about right. Once you get past the events in Masawa... Spoiler alert, we're going to Masawa. Uh... The game goes actually pretty quickly. Let's just check. There's Luanda. Sometimes there's a village up here. This is all part of my world tour. Very good. Armadillo. We have a lot of those in the United States. Especially in the south. Okay, I'll probably need to stop at the Cape Town. Now you want to try to avoid going right along the desert here because there is a phosphorescent light that can happen. Which is kind of annoying. 
yeah, we'll definitely stop at the at the supply port down here. And a village, good. Six days, no problem. We're doing so good. Okay. Excellent. Diaz's monument. Diago's monument is you can find, sometimes find earlier. Oh shoot! You know what? I forgot to check for a couple of villages in that area just to the north of me. Damn. Uh it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I forgot to check for a couple villages in there. Shoot. I'll try to catch them on one of my next trips. Because, I, I mean, I've got to come back this way anyway. So I'll catch them on one of my next trips. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. I just got to remember to do that. So Fala. Uh -huh. There's nothing up there. Main. Shooting Mozambique. Which means go this way, we must start looking for the dodo bird. Just a star level discovery. And if it spawns, it will spawn over here. This is the dodo bird. Almost every single one of my playthroughs, this this is a very common spawn. Get this one all the way up to 60. I know it, I've done this one several times. your dodo bird. There you go. Should be a supply port up here. Very good. Sometimes there's a village up here. There it is. Aiden. 
This is not too far out of my way. But I'm not going to explore down there because I actually need to go there for a storyline purpose later in the game. And I'll, ex I'll explore everything down there at that point. This way, we'll make it up to Basra. All these ports, ton of ports to get here. Good. Nice. This should be Basra. There it is. Sometimes there's a village that spawns right there. Okay, first thing I want to do here, sell my guns. Make a good profit here. Okay, you make almost 100 per, so good, make, good way to make some quick cash to help fund your world tour. I definitely recommend doing that. find out. Awesome! We found her on the first try! Alright. Yes. Let's get right to the point. Mm -hmm. What? What kind of thing goes on here? Very good. And now it's time to let the world tour begin. We could go back to Istanbul, but what's the fun in that? Yeah, we're gonna go conquer the world. We're going on our world tour. Let's go. Now what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna explore most of the world. And this is going to get us the majority of the fame we need to win the game. And then the idea is just, just to go boom, 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 boom. After this world tour, getting everything. Because you're already in this part of the world anyway. You might as well explore the rest of it. And then it basically is just going to go boom, 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 boom. And go straight to the end of the game. Through all the events. Basically, then the story. you're just going to play the story out at this point. To the end of the game. Once you've done your world tour is the goal. Now I have to concentrate. Part of the reason why I'm not doing this over live stream is one, because my live stream isn't as um, reliable as I'd like it to be. And two, I really need to concentrate, make sure that my route is all planned out. Okay, I'll go up this way just to explore it. I know there isn't anything up here, but it's a good way to get a little more fame and adventure. Mercator. It doesn't take a lot of time. Sometimes there's something over here. Sometimes there's something right there, and there wasn't this time, which is okay. Oh, not a lot here either. Hmm. Not getting as many spawns as I would like, but that's okay. There's a village. Good. Hornbill. Okay, now I think I can find Pesai. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now I don't have to go to that side. Excellent. Good. Okay, I'm just thinking here about my route to make sure I got everything correct. Mankow. And sometimes there's a village over here, so I'll just check for it. Nope. Stop up this way. Now we're starting to get into the really good village. So we're basically on the other half, literally we're on the other half of the world. So 
now we're going to start to find get to find the really good discoveries. The majority of them are really good. Very good. There's Anchor Watt. Awesome. It's very important in Illusion of Gaia, if anybody's played that game. Love that game. Alright, good. This way. These are great places to get. Not only does there a good fame and adventure for discovering the ports, but really good fame and adventure for the villages too. There's a village up there. These two ports here. Macau and Zaiton, where we're actually going to stop. Oh, nice. The reason that we're going to stop here is because... Well, first let me check my bombs. I think I still have six. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm good on bomb. I don't need more. But what I do want to do is because I'm going to be sailing for days at a long time at sea, I want to pick up a cat to make sure that there's no rats on my ship, which can eat my food, which on a world tour is a problem. And, it also re and it's also a good place to reset. And this is as far as I'm going to go, because you can't discover Sakai or Nagasaki or anything like that until you get to a certain point in Joao's story. So there's really no point. So what I'm using that as kind of my tipping point, and now I start heading back. I'm looking for villages and stuff. Oh, shit. Uh, 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 I'll go this way. Doesn't matter. Sometimes there's a village over here. Village over here, so let's check those. Oh, there's our storm. Okay, nothing there, so head south. I know there's a supply, supply port there. Keep heading south here because there's a few more regular ports we can find. Let's turn it, which produces clove. Don't know why I know that, but I do. And Amboa. And uh now I'll go over and I'll actually go this Dealey should be there. Okay, I'll go this way. See for a village over here. Sometimes there's a village up here. It's fine. Check and be sure. Mm, look like it. So now I'll go down this way. Village, which we'll get to in just a minute. Sunda, sometimes there's a village over here. Oh. It's unfortunate because that's a, that's a good one if you can get it. This one might be a good one too, actually. Uh, no. This one's not great, if I recall. Oh, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm, I must be thinking of a different one. They all start to run together. Ugh. I like that. Python! Yikes. That means I gotta stop and pick up some crew in Dealey, which is fine. It just means there'll be more discoveries for me along the way. Okay, we 
Where's Dealey? I need to stop there now. Which I need to do anyways, and load up on food and water, and now I gotta get some crew. And we're gonna get sailors from all around the world. Ooh, I do like mango juice. I did, don't care. How do you know that all the way out here in Southeast Asia? Weird. Yeah, this port is very poor. So you're only gonna get, but that's fine. Like that's more than enough. I just need to refill a little bit, not a big deal. here. Four days. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go check over here to the right. This little inlet. Village and nothing. Okay, no problem. So now I'm going to go over here, and there should be a supply port over here that I want to get. Good. Now we're going to start to discover Australia. For villages down here. Good amount of villages down here. this being a good one. Oh no, it's not great. Again, it all just kind of runs together. There we go. Kiwi! Alright, this way. Port over here. Levesque. Not, not to be confused with Paul Levesque, otherwise known as Triple H. The greatest heel of all time. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you have absolutely no idea. But if you know, you know. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -Y -K. Yeah, there's good villages here. I really want to crank that fame in adventure. Good. This just makes me happy. Yeah, these forty, th these forty level discoveries are good. Good. Kangaroo. Of course, you find a kangaroo in Africa. I'm not going to stereotype at all. this being a good one too. This game is a ton of fun. It can get kind of monotonous at times doing all the same thing. You can't just crank the entertainment level. Exotic animal. Cool. 
real lizard. Okay, I'll head up this way. Up here. Another village. Okay, so the ones I was missing earlier, I also need to be spawning in Australia. I'm doing really good on my villages in Australia. Again, it all evens out. You just gotta be thorough. Ayers Rock. I haven't been there, but I, I hear it's pretty cool. I have a friend who's from Australia and she says it's pretty cool. Okay. There's nothing up there, so we'll keep going. Wanna find a supply port. And sometimes there's a village down here. There isn't. In this case. Now I'll go up this way, and sometimes there's a village up here. I hope there is, because that is a good leading point into... It's just like right there, so but that's alright. We're going to head over to the east now. Because that's the last village in Australia. So we're going to head over to the east now. We're going to find a supply port and look for a star level discovery over here. If it spawns on this part of New Zealand. And I really hope it does. Doesn't, not a big deal, but... I hope it does. Just gonna check my trade and miss it. Oh, and that happens sometimes too. If you if you if you're off the mark a little bit. Yep, that's happened to me several times. Well, there's the village. Well, that's good. Uh, let's do. How am I doing? Wanganui! I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get the village first. And I know this is a star level discovery, so I can go all the way up to 60. Yeah. And then I'll go fill up at the village. Yeah, so you gotta check that. that. That has happened to me before. I was like, that seems like it's a little off. Now, if you miss occasionally, it's okay. Because what, all that means is you're gonna get more fame and adventure. For Mercator. Star level discovery should be the MOA. There it is. Okay, now we definitely need to refill. Supply port. In Wanganui! Whee! safety save here just in case. Never a bad idea to do a safety save. Okay, now we're gonna go up to the MOA and head start heading directly east. And now we're gonna be going east for quite a while. going for quite a while here until we run into potentially another star level discovery. Which to me, if, if it spawns, is the most bizarre star level discovery in the game, by far. 
should see it. There it is. And it spawned, yeah. Very cool. So, this is the most bizarre star level discovery in the game. I'll show you why here. All the way to 60. Sixty. Now, this is why this is very confusing. It takes all the way to 60 to get the Moai, which you can clearly see in plain view. It makes absolutely no sense to me, but video game logic for you there, BCS, uh, BCS Universe. Yeah, video game logic for you there, BCS Universe. Okay, so now we're going to head all the way straight up until we hit the land. So we're going north for quite a while to get back to North America. I was like, is there a storm? Ooh. In the, uh, when I was doing a stream of this, when I was doing my test runs for this and kind of streaming that, somebody commented, well, I feel bad for all these rowers that have to row all across the ocean so many times. I'm like, yeah. Considering we only paid them like 20 gold to be on our crew. Like, it's like, Eesh. that is a, not a lot of work. Or that's a lot of work for not a lot of money. But times were tough back then, man. Times were tough. Okay, once we hit land, I'll, I'll go for sail north. Uh, I'll check and see how we're doing. See if I have time to, or if I need to go right to the supply port, because there's a supply port near here. Oh, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna go a little further north. Check for the village, and there it is. Man, I'm, I'm easily going to have enough fame and adventure to get close to winning the game. Curry dog! There's a rampant in California. That discovery is around California, northern California. I think there's no discoveries up in Canada, which is I'm from Canada originally, but no discoveries up in Canada, which is interesting. There's Santa Barbara. Do we need to stop? Uh yeah. Probably wouldn't hurt to stop. Just to be safe. Always better to be safe in story in this game, especially on a speedrun. Way. Oh, there's a village there. Cool. Sometimes there's a village up here, so we'll check for that. This little inlet. There it is. Okay. This is great. All these discoveries. I like it. a lot of fame and adventure and a lot of money. Cool. Mexican bearded lizard. Cool. So when I was doing a run of this earlier today, um, as I got up to about this point of it, just to do a test run, and the power ran out. Actually, I was streaming it this morning, and um, the 
power ran out about two hours into the run, and I finally just said, you know what, that's enough for today. Because I've been having streaming issues all morning and stuff like that, but... But, all good. That was not fun. This is a good one. Nice. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Ooh, 50. I like it. Means it's gonna be super when we report it. A monument. Moment of the sun. Or monument of the sun. If if I had time, I'd show you the if this wasn't a speedrun, I'd stop and let you read everything, but... It's a speedrun! Oh, come on. Uh, this one might be a good one, too. Yeah, it is. Cool. Just looking at where I am on my map, on my world map. Yeah, I would definitely do this with a world map. There's no way I wouldn't do this without a world map. Wow, another 50. Sweet. I'll take it. Again, the, the village is all even out in the end. Victory music! And a cultural artifact. The crystal skull. Ooh. Alright, keep going. How are we doing? Oh, good. I like getting all these villages. Enough fame to win the game. This one shouldn't take as long. Nice, a good one. More victory music! Another cultural artifact. Popovu or Popova. However you say it. Alright, there's Santa Barbara. Uh, there's Guatemala. You need to stop there. Uh, 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 no, I go one more. I go a little further. I will need to stop soon though. Not because for days, but because of how many villages I've run into. And I have to entertain at all of them. Every time you entertain, it costs you two barrels of food. kick-ass amount of fame and adventure at the end of this world tour. I'm very excited. Cool. More victory music and cultural artifact. The mural of Maracaibo, or whatever that was. We'll look it up. Okay. And I better stop here in Panama. Again, not because... Just be not for, for days, but because of how much food I've had to give to everybody. Whew! Three barrels of food I needed. Wow. Well, I guess it makes sense, I mean, with how much... How much I had to do there. Alright. There was here, maybe.
More cultural artifacts, nice. Terracotta figure. Cool. Oh, a fleet. Cool. Okay, as soon as you get here, you want to start heading left. I believe there's sometimes there's a village out here. And nope, not this time. There's, yeah, sometimes the village does spawn there. Another village. Yeah, supply port. Tour's taken about as long as I thought it would. I figured it'd be about 45 minutes to an hour. But again, this is going to give me all the fame and adventure I need to win the game. the sun. Okay, there are no actual ports over here, but there are supply ports and villages. Melindo. That's not the one I'm going to stop at. Golly, so many villages. It's great. I might not even need to stop in Africa. We'll see what my favorite adventure is. But I might not even need to stop. Find those ones that I missed. So there's a joke in there somewhere. Not for what I want to do, because I'm going to rip all the way up to Istanbul. Alright, potential two more villages we can find, and then we're done with our world tour. Then all we have to do is start heading back. Sometimes there's a village through here, and there isn't. Okay, good. We're going to do safety save here. And then just go directly to the northeast. Take it all the way back. What I'm gonna do now is look at my notes here. I'm gonna go to Istanbul. Get that out of the way. Should I do the Nile River? Those discoveries aren't worth very much. That was the problem. No, I'm not gonna do the Nile River. I don't. I don't need it. I don't need it. There'll be plenty of other ways for me to make fame and adventure if I need it. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the Nile River. Okay. 
Yeah, I can make it all the way to Istanbul. But now I definitely have to watch out for pirates. I have a feeling I'm going to be in really good shape, famine adventure-wise. All those discoveries, whew, I'm going to be in good shape. Alright. I'm going to go to Istanbul and do safety safe here just in case I screw something up. I can't believe the run's only two hours in. Oh, there's pirates. I still think the run's going to take about five hours. If I can get it under four, that'd be amazing. Let's see. I think I'm going to be tackling Catalina next. At the time of this recording, anyway. Ooh, lots of stuff. The other, thing I, the other thing I like about coming back to Europe is it slows the game down because there's just so much... Um, there's so many ships on screen that it causes the game to slow down. Hey, there's Salim. Did a little dance. Oh, okay. We know the way. Yep, it's the building with the moon on it. I don't know if you can go right. To, if you need to go right to the lodge, I always just go to the cafe out of habit. That'd be great. And apparently, the rooms are not in the actual building where the inn is, so that's great. Sure. Gotcha. Very good. I don't think you get any fame adventure for that one. 19 2. Dude, boy. This is going to be great. Alright. Let's go be get rich. Let's go get rich. As always, safe to save just in case. I run out of pirates. You're going to see me start to do a lot more safety saves as the run goes on, just in case. I'll probably need to take another bathroom break soon. There's one thing that my mother... I inherited from my mother. Many things. One of them is a small bladder. I love my mom, but she had to pee all the time. My girlfriend is a small bladder too, so when we travel, we have to stop and pee a lot. Watch out for pirates here in this canal. As long as you don't attack anybody, they won't attack you. Okay, let's go get rich. A lot of them are going after. Oh, what's going on? Here? I could have stopped. Damn. It's back to Ally with England. Okay. Cool. 19-2. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. What? Well, I guess we're doing this now. Cool. 
Oh, great. Well, that didn't take too long. Could be. That's a good point. How do you know that? Absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do... Uh-huh. Apparently the... A what? Masawa, I do. Oh, wow. Sure. That's great. Well, we'll head over there. Don't find hope for Lucia. Let's do it. All right, but in the meantime, let's start making five pages of discoveries. Oof, it's gonna take a while, and you have to go in one. You have to do them one by one. Unfortunately, the Moa and the Moe will be good ones. Yep, and actually, well, I'm gonna do it this way. I'll save those for last. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, kind of go in order, except for the star level ones. Star level ones are always at the end. Do they go in order of... No, because the dodo's there. It's got to be in order that you found. Well, not necessarily. Maybe there's maybe they're sort of by location in the world. And we get to hear some of Ali's music. Yeah, three star level discoveries on this. There's no way I'm not going to have enough. Or at least in the ballpark. If I can get 35,000, that's enough to win the game. Because the events of the next part give you 4,000. Give you 5,000, which gives you your 40,000 fame to win the game. And once, once we get to Masawa, the, it's pretty much just going to go boom, 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 boom to the end of the game. So that's why I, I like to do this now. I did. Lake Titicaca. Temple of the Sun. Mural of Muranil Muran Muranilco? Mur Muranilico? Popovu. Yeah. This is also gonna give me enough easily enough money to do anything I need in the game. So I don't need I don't need to worry about money for the rest of the game. Monument of the Sun. Bearded Lizard. Yeah, so the world tour takes about 45 minutes. It's about right. Prairie Dog. Yeah, I'm hoping if the next if the next trigger doesn't take too long, I might be able to get this under four hours. It'll be close though. I'm shooting for five. Under five. If I go under five, that'll be successful. Rock and then finally the Moai. Sure did. There you go. <laughs> 32. I want to go sell my stuff to Mercator. Yeah, I'm easily going to have enough fame to win the game. I don't need to do any more discovering. Buy a couple more bombs just in case. Buy three more just in case. Oh, I also need to, while I'm here, pick up a bookkeeper. Actually, no, I'm going to buy five bombs just in case, because I don't want to have to go back to another weapon store for the rest of the game. Just as in case. Yeah, four is good. That'll be enough. If I need to go to Zaiton, I can. Okay, now... I've gotten some battle levels, I've gotten some experience. I need to pick up another bookkeeper because Enrico will not be with us for a long, for long. And I probably won't be coming back to Bordeaux again, so I want to do this now. He should be willing to come with us. Right. What I want to do with him 
is make him my new bookkeeper. Because Enrico will not be with us for much longer. Alright, good. Okay. I'll do this, then I'm going to need to take a bathroom break. So I'll sell this up to Mercator, then I'll take another bathroom break. 13 days, no problem. Man, both the Italians and the British are here. Interesting. Probably a neutral port, I guess. But yeah, once I sell this to Mercator, as long as I have... If I have over 35,000 fame, I easily, easily, easily have enough to win the game. Yep. And Mercator is open 24 hours for some reason. I guess he doesn't need sleep. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. That's good. This should be another 3,000 fame adventure. Oh, yeah. I have enough to win the game. Very good. Okay. I am going to pause here to go to bathroom break. I'll be right back. Okay. We're ready to go. Let's keep it going. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's go. I don't need to trade. I don't need to do anything. I've got enough money. Yeah, I've got enough money. I've got enough everything to win the game. I don't need to trade. I can just go straight to the end of the game. So let's do it. In fact, at this point, what I can do is I can even almost auto sale at this point. I'll wait till I get out of Europe, and then I'm just going to throw on auto sale because... Might as well. Yeah, I've, I've got enough fame to win the game, because for certain events, you get 5,000 fame in adventure, so it'll be enough. I'll just throw on auto sale. Just I'll do this after I got to Europe, in case I hit, in case I run into pirates. Yep, I knew it. I am so smart. Okay, now I'm going to auto sail to Aiden, which is actually our destination. Because now I can just, not even remember, but I can text, I can do whatever, because now I'm not going to run into pirates. Then you just be monitoring it, make sure Rocco does his job, which he probably will. There we go. We're still... There it goes. Okay, cool. Now when you get here, what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to take over slightly. Because the game, and I'll, and I'll take over there, because the game will start sending you to following the land. And I don't want to do that. It's much faster to take a little shortcut. Yeah, this is faster. It does that to keep you safe, and I understand that, but you know, nobody got time for that. Okay, at least eight more. I worry about the phosphorescent light, but if I get it, it's cool. I would go take a bathroom break here, but you gotta monitor it just in case. I probably ah, oh, there's just phosphorescent light. Yeah. It's fine. It burns a few seconds, but it's fine. Nothing happens. Yeah, I'm not, I don't need to trade, I don't need to do anything. I can just go straight to the end of the game. Usually I don't use auto sale, but at this point of the game, I might as well. 
on these runs because yeah, that way I can send texts if I need to. I can. This is one time when auto sale is actually useful. Yeah, because I can like I can send texts. I can check in with my girlfriend. All that good stuff. Make sure she's happy. I've learned very. I've learned very much that happy. If if your if your person is happy in your relationship, then you're happy. I mean, we're not married yet, but, you know, the phrase happy wife, happy life kind of thing. It applies in just, if you're just dating as well. Trust me. Okay, I'll take over here, because we haven't actually gotten a Masawa yet. Good thing I got that Aiden ward. Hmm. There's Masawa. Alright, let's check in. Got here. Probably could have gone here first, but that's alright. How do they know? Wow. Atlantis. Really? Oh. But what? Oh, wow. Go to the building southwest of town. That's kind of ominous. Check it out. Now we get this fun little... Whoa! A combi, let's get him! Maybe he's got COVID. I hope not. Oh. Damn it. Oh, wow. Whoa! Well, he got out of the way fast. Man, we guess we got, we got lucky. Shut up, Rocco. Right? Oh, I see. They tried to harness nature. Gotcha. This is true. From one old man to old man. Oh, I see. That's cool. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Okay, how would you do that? What staff? The staff of Poseidon. We'll find it. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go on a treasure hunt. Alright, let's go. I have no idea. We do? Oh, yeah. That's right. And now we have to go all the way back to Lisbon. Of course we do. Yeah. But again, I have enough money, so it's completely fine. Okay. And now... Back to Lisbon! Why does it send you all the way up there? That's weird. Could have got it started. Oh well. All right. Well, I'll check my phone again. Why are we going all the way up there? All right. 
goes. See, that's something I hate about auto sales. Sometimes it takes you in a weird direction. So how's everyone doing? And I didn't do my split in Maswa because I need to come back. And we'll go over that in a little bit. And again, just monitoring for it. I don't know how the game program how the game programmers know how to get everybody to where they need to go. Okay, when we get to Luanda, I'll take over. What if they get what if the sailors get dizzy? all this weird stuff that the game makes them do. Okay. I'll take over from here. I'll make things easier for you. Rocco, you, you, you take us in too many weird twists and turns. Ball. Okay, if I need to get some balm and Zaiton, I can. Pick it up on my way to Nagasaki. Now this next, the, the, the ending part of this game is kind of boring because you have to do a lot. Oh, pirates! Yikes! How'd they find me? Okay, so I will not be auto sailing back to Masawa. Because I do not want to deal with those pirates. Mm -hmm. Great. Very good. back. Okay. Ah, Pietro. Uh-oh. Hey, there he is. Ooh, he's a pangu. I want to go there. <laughs> got oh, I got a lot of money. Okay. Awesome. Great, thank you so much. And he'll never find it. Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> All right. And now, back to Masawa! If you want to bring goods, you could. If you wanted to bring some arms, you could. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary. Dude, don't care. How many days can I sell? Yeah, because I'll, I'll make up this. I can make up this money if I want when I have to fight. We'll do all that later. And back to Masawa we go. Let's do it. Just sometimes I zone out. Actually, well, no, I, I gotta sell manually because those pirates. I don't want to run into those pirates. No, I'm like, if they attack me, then I'd really have problems. So I'm 
just going to sail far outside of their range so I don't accidentally walk over them. Pirates are getting more bold, though, I will say that. There they are. They were looking for me, but they didn't find me. Wahahaha. Yeah, it's going to be about a five hour run, I would guess. Because I have to make a couple trips back to Europe still. But again, I have more than enough money to win the game. Because all I have to do is supply my La Real. Well, that's not true. I'll have to make a little more money in just a little bit, but it's not a big deal. pirates out here. Probably as fast as you do this way than auto sail, but again, if I want to text or you know, take care of some business on these long travels, auto sail actually is kind of convenient. But if you zone out and forget what you're doing, it can be annoying too. If you're just playing this game casually, you want to use this way, like if you want to use it to go to the bathroom or just save before you go so you don't get attacked by pirates. And it really only works once you've once you've um, explored most of the world map, it's really good good for long distances. And you've got to establish that you can travel a long distance, like I can. I got my best person on it. Okay. Now we play the waiting game. Alright. Indeed. Okay, but what I need to do in the meantime is I need to remodel my ship and start getting some crew. I'm going to sail just north. Mecca. I'll stop here. Yeah, this is decent. This will work. Oh, I gotta remodel. I gotta remodel. Yeah, I gotta remodel my ship here. Because it's a. Uh... We're gonna have to fight here in a little bit. Capacity. Oh shoot. I gotta dump some cargo. Damn, I hate when I have to do that. Transfer. Don't care. 
100 men. Oh, perfect. Great. That'll work. We'll do this one more time, and then we'll head back to Masawa. Yeah, I don't need to. Honestly, I say could, I could go up and discover Cairo if I wanted to, but I don't need to. I did, don't care. That's enough. I can go pick up some more in Masawa if I want to max out to 250 if I need to, but I shouldn't need to. Because the Turks are not that hard. But I like to have extra crew just in case a disaster occurs. Yep, now we're going to head back to Masawa. Now, I do not exactly know what the trigger is for this point, unfortunately. This is where it can get kind of confusing. But right now, the only place that goes to where we get this prompt is in Massawa. So I'm just going to start going in buildings a bunch in Massawa. And we're going to keep getting this prompt. <coughs> I don't know if you have to go through this a number of times or if there's a counter. I don't know. But we keep. I know we're going to get this prompt for a while. We're gonna get this prompt for a while. I don't exactly know what the trigger is. I'm just gonna go in a bunch of the different buildings and This part of the game is the one that I'm always the most confused about. Because I don't know what the trigger is. Okay, I'm just going to go into a bunch of the different buildings. Maybe leave. Sail around to a couple different ports. And again, I just don't know what the trigger is. If anyone knows what the trigger is, let me know. But I've, I've checked. And it's definitely... I mean, I've got enough fame and adventure. That's not a problem. Because again, I don't know what the trigger is. Again, this is the this is the most challenging part of the game is figuring out what this trigger is. But I only seem to get the slow walk in Massawa. So maybe you should have to go to some different ports. Wait, I think when you when you when you talk to the the uh, people in Massawa, it starts a counter, I believe. Okay, don't quote me on that, but I think that's how it works. The 
this seems to be on a place where I'm getting the slow walk, so we're gonna just keep going here. But eventually, you'll get another set of dialogue. We're just gonna go through some different buildings and eventually we'll get a dialogue of I don't know if you have to visit every building in town, I don't know. Yeah, because unfortunately all you can end, all it, all that can do is wait. Eventually, I should get some dialogue that says, Eventually, I'll get some dialogue that says, have you heard they've begun their attack? This is the this is the most annoying part of this run for sure. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long because I, I want to figure out what this trigger is. Sealing around, I don't think. Maybe you have to wait on the high seas. I don't know. I don't know if it's amount of game days or if it's no, it's not game days. I know that because um, and if you go back to Lisbon, they're like, he 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 doesn't. We haven't heard anything from him, but he never checks in until he's done with a job or something like that. So we have to wait at sea. I, 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 I don't know what the trigger is. Okay. Yeah, ports have a lot of money. I can wait at sea. I know those rations are very low, but I promise there's a reason. But he doesn't need in-game time, because I've done world tours, and I come back, and he, go, and he goes, oh, I don't know. So, I don't know. I don't know what the trigger is. Fortunately, I have a lot of money, so it's okay. Part of the run that I was 
dreading. Just once I figure out what this trigger is. Let me go back here, maybe. I don't know. Waiting on Pietro. I don't think it's a certain number of days thing because I mean, like I've said, I've traveled for six months and then, so I don't know. I hope that's not what the trigger is. For some reason I thought it was you just check that over and over again and eventually it spawns, I don't know. Maybe you just need to wait at sea. Maybe that's what it is. Wait and see. Pirates, just case pirates show up, but they shouldn't. Because eventually you just you just go and then eventually he'll say, "Have you heard the Turks have begun?" There it is. Okay, there it is. I'm not, again. I don't know what the trigger is, but we got it. Okay, safety save. Maybe it's probably just a certain amount of time. Not necessarily. That's fine. Absolutely. Of course. We must fight! Let's go get him. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is let's assign my crew, and we're going to go 20, should have enough to move, oh yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, let's go. Wait, now? Ugh. Oh yeah, that's right. Aha! What are you talking about? 
Man. Wow. I've got to go fight the Turkish fleet. Yeah, it'll be fine. Wait, why were they stopped? Alright, finally. After this, we'll do it. We'll get, we'll get it done once and for all. Alright, we'll take, we'll take him down. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that's right. Alright, let's go. No problem. Okay, we definitely safety save here. As soon as we see the Turkish fleet. There we go. Now what you want... Oh. Safety save, please. Thank you. What I want to do is I want to take on the one with an Exabek. Uh, which one is it? Wish I could check, but I'll get attacked. It's fine. Sing everything! Let's go for it. Let's do it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Oh wait, now hold on. Yeah, that 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 could not have. Yeah, that could not have been a better opening position. So that's good. It's the second position I'm worried about. Hopefully, he'll try to attack me because the Exabex only have 120. Beautiful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, so you get a little money back, so it's good. Okay, I'm going to take an exit back so I can refill on crew. Nope, that's all right. Quickly, because I do not want to fight Rashid Jabbar. That would be very bad. So what we want to do... Max out on crew. Get rid of those dudes. Scrap. A. Whoa! Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Okay. Okay, now safety save. What do we have? Oh. Sala Escal would be just fine. Now we'll take him down again. Let's do it. The Rebellion? Oh, wow. Uh, sure. Alright, so apparently she's gonna help us whoop some ass. That's fine. Alright, let's go. Beautiful. That could not have worked out any better. Nope. Thank you. And I'm actually not going to take anything because I'm, I'm going to remodel anyway, so go to that. And there we go. Very good. And that's all you need to do is battle two of them and then the rest of them run away, so it's fine. Awesome. And there's Pietro right there in the harbor. Oh crap. That's gonna be a problem. Jeez. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's awesome. Alright, let's do it. We don't even get to enjoy Pietro's. Music? I don't know if that was the right split, but it's fine. Oh, 
Awesome. There it is. The Staff of Poseidon. Awesome. I guess it shoots thunderbolts or something. Absolutely. Ooh, a crown. That's great. It sells for 15 gold ingots if you need it. Yes. Will do. Yes. All right, let's do it. And it yours. Even though you're not going to be really using wings. But it's fine. Okay. Now let's go deal with Catalina. And there she is. And Pietro's here too. Sure. Uh huh. Right. How do you know? Oh, interesting. Happy music! Mm hmm. Oh, I see. That's right, yeah. The game doesn't start till May of 22. I don't know. Okay. That's right. Wow. She ain't about it. Now she's gonna... She's not happy. Okay! And because of that, 40,000 fame, enough to win the game. Very good. Now we need to remodel. It's fine, and we'll get back to our normal... Oops. 40... 0... Good. Okay, very good. Now I believe if we go to the cafe, we can actually start the next part of our story. Yep. Yes. Ah. Oh, that's right. We do need to go to Zipangu. You got it. There's Nagasaki. Sounds good. And we'll do it. Okay. And bathroom break. Be right back. Okay. And we're ready to go. Let's keep going. In three, two, one, go. Okay. So, heading over to Zipangu. Pretty easy to make it over there. Oh. Actually, hold on. Shoot, I just realized I need two. I forgot. Let's get Rocco back as first mate. And let's go. Yeah, we gotta get loaded up, especially with that water. We're gonna make sure we have water. And let's go. Yeah, and don't worry about attacking the, the Turkish ships. You can just let them go. It's totally, totally fine. Okay. And now, off to Zipangu. The good thing is, is it's real easy to get there. We'll just head over this way. I should double check my map. Make sure I... Oh, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. good. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, those... The Turks weren't too bad taking them down. There's no problems there. Okay, now this way... And over. Way. Okay, the good thing is getting to Nagasaki is pretty easy. Now 
We're going to have to do a lot of traveling, a lot of long distance traveling here, unfortunately, to close out the speed run. But it's all pretty easy at this point. And up this way. Just double check, make sure I put it that way. Yep. Never hurts to double check to make sure you go in the right way. And we'll hit Zaiton, and then you just go directly northeast from Zaiton, and you'll get to Nagasaki. Go directly to the northeast. You should find it. And there it is. Now, Nagasaki, again, doesn't... Again, it doesn't allow you to go here until... Um, it doesn't allow you to go here until it's activated in uh, Joao's scenario. So just keep that in mind. First thing we do when we get there is go to the bar. Indeed. Awesome. Indeed. Well, that's fun on Rico, but time to go now. Now we do the big wave goodbye. Indeed. Big wave. And he's gone. Agreed. And let's sail up. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, it's fame. And 40,000, we're good. There we go. Okay, now the best thing to do at this point is actually what you need to now is head back to London. So what we're going to want to do is head over and we'll find Sakai, because we're going to need to come here eventually, and head to the southeast. And we'll do a safety save just in case. I timed this out, and it is actually faster to go this way by just a little bit. And what we're going to do to get back is we're actually going to go all the way to the southeast until we hit land. So I have some time to just sit and chill. We'll be doing this for quite a while until we hit land. And basically, we're gonna do this until we hit land and then go across the bottom and then go that way through South America and then back up to London. I timed it out and it is slightly faster to go this way. It takes about six minutes to go up around through uh, Japan. If you need fame and adventure, do it that way. Uh, go up to the northeast. You can actually cut across. There's some supply ports. If you go up around kind of the Bering Strait and head left, cut up through uh, the Arctic Ocean. There's some supply ports, and you can get back that way, but this way is slightly faster. If you have the 40,000 Fame Adventure, you need to win the game. And we'll get there eventually. Once we hit land, we'll be good. In the meantime, we get to listen to this nice, relaxing music. There it is. Now we just head to the right. It's very cold, but I guess the temperature is not a thing here in New Horizons. We just go right along here. There we go. And now we go up through here. And we've and we recognize this place. How do my days? Uh, should be 51. I should be able to make it back 
Oh, a ship. It's cool. Where the hell is he going? I'll be curious one day to just auto sail some routes and curious where the hell it takes us. Probably should have safety saved it there, but that's okay. Good. It's about five minutes, so it's it's good. It's gonna be close. I might be able to get this in under four hours. Maybe. It's gonna be real close. But I might could do it. And you'll see why in just a little bit. Because we're actually in we're almost at the end of the game. It's gonna be real close. I might be able to do this in under four hours. If I do, that'd just be silly. I didn't think it was possible, but... Alright, there we go. Oh. Oof. Good thing I caught it. Rocco wasn't paying attention! Ooh, I need to get some bomb. I'll check in. Uh, how we doing? Can I make it? Pretty close. Wow, they're even... Things are tough. We got a Spanish fleet providing protection at a weak port. Can't wait to get back and doing some ca uh, some stuff with Catalina. That'll be fun. Oh, pirates! Yikes! They're really coming for me now. Oh, yeah, I'll make it just fine. Okay, cool. Okay, now I believe if we go to the guild, there should be a letter for us. Oh no, oh you have to, uh, it's okay, you have to go to the harbor first. Should be Master Joao, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, I thought you could just go there right away, but okay, I guess you need to trigger that. No big deal. Yeah, if I get this under four hours, that'd be incredible. Oh, great! From Monrico. <laughs> that bloke. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I see. <sighs> Back to Zipangu! Ugh. But how did that letter get here so fast? Like, we went directly back here. Well, as in all video games, information travels faster than we do. So, okay. Back to Zipangu. I did, don't care. And we'll safety save. Off we go. Back to Zipangu. have to go all the way back to London. That's kind of annoying. So, yeah, it's going to be real close. We might be able to get it in under four hours. If not, it's going to be right at around the four-hour mark. And I'll be very happy with that time. I thought it was going to be about a five-hour run, but... And we'll be coming back here soon enough. Down 
this way. I'll be coming back here before long too. Now I think this is the fastest way. I, I, I have to imagine this is the fastest way because it's most direct. But my, the other way might be faster by one or like a few seconds, but I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, down this way. I'm gonna take a slightly different route to get there, and I'll show you how I'm gonna get there. Sorry, it's not too exciting at this part of the run, and I understand that. And through here. What I'm going to do now here, just to guarantee I know I get there, is I'm going to head up here to the supply port, and then hang a left. And then just go directly up to Sakai, because I know I'll get it that way. Okay, where's that supply port? And we'll safety save. Off we go. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Mm, we're doing good. We hit the Moai and go directly to the northwest. I might need to go to Tahiti and. Well, we'll be kind of close. We go to the Moai. Okay, where's that Moai Island? There it is. Now we go directly to Northwest. I'll safety save at Tahiti. Check my days. Theoretically, I should be fine. A lot of listening to the loot music as we go. There's Tahiti. And safety save here. Check. It's going to be close. Probably should have stopped just in case. It's alright. It's gonna be close. But theoretically we should make it. I mean if if you're going essentially the same route, Chesson should make it. And if worse comes to worse, you can just drink the salt water, right? <laughs> no, don't do that. If anything, that's a good sign because it means we're near land. How many bombs do I have? Oh, I have plenty. I'm good. If anything, that's a good sign because usually the storms happen where we're near land or relatively close to land. Usually. There it is. Down here in Sakai should not be far. There it is. Very good. Okay, I'll go see Professor. Should be in this building. And they just let us waltz right in. Apparently they know us. No clearance necessary. There it is, not even a hello. Awesome. month ago? Oh, wow. But it didn't even take us a... Okay. 
Again, information travels faster than we do. Wait, Atlantis is in the New World? Oh! Gotcha. Oh, it could be that the Zook is looking at us to find the fake Atlantis. Okay. We'll go take a look. You got it. Sounds good. And now guess what we get to do, BCS Universe? Yes, you guessed it. We get to head back to South America. Because why wouldn't we? Yep. And we have plenty of money. So we're just fine. And safety save, of course. And now go back the same way we came. At least we don't have to go as far this time, so that's good. So basically we're going to take the exact same route, cut across, but this time we'll stop in Rio de Janeiro. Yep, so just going back. close to the under four hour mark. And if it's right at around four hours, I'll be really happy with that time. I mean, there are some time saves, but it'll be good enough. Because, and mostly because of the trigger in the, uh, in Massawa. I, I just, I don't know what the trigger is, is the problem. If I knew what the trigger was, it'd be easy, but I don't know what it is, is the problem. It's all right. We're doing real good. There we go. I'll cut across one more time. They're like, Captain, why are you making me go back there? It's so cold. Dude, times are tough, man. I still feel terrible for how much we paid these sailors. They're not very much. We're not even getting salaries. They're like joining our crew and we're not really paying them anything. We give them a one-time fee and they're with us for perhaps the rest of the game. It's kind of a rough deal. With the with the rowers, with the crew, I mean, at least with the with the sailors, they're getting a salary. Just my two cents. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a brief stop in Rio de Janeiro, look around for a little bit, and then we're going to head up to Pernambuco and look up there for a little bit, take care of some business. Ship. I'd love to do a world domination run at some point. I think that'd be kind of fun, actually. There we go. Okay, now we just enter a few buildings. We did. So now we just need to walk into some, some buildings, kind of get this message a few times, wait for the trigger to happen. It's kind of like the other one. Good call. And if you go to the cafe, I don't believe anything happens. Yeah, because that's eventually where you're going to have to go. Okay. 
Like I said, we'll just look at some of the buildings and then we'll go to a different port. We'll go up to Pernambuco because I need to do some business up there. And yeah, we are going to take a look. We're going to check every building and then we'll head up to Pernambuco. Indeed. I don't know either. Like I said, we're just going to the different buildings, kind of just looking around. Smelling the grass. Indeed. Oh, there we go. Well, that was quick. Uh, shoot. I might not have wanted to do that. Oh, let me escape. Well, it might not matter. Oh, that's right. Okay, I guess I guess you don't have a choice. Okay, that's fine. Uh, totally fine, totally fine. Because I think I pro if I throw this fight, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna not do a safety save just in case. Oh, this isn't the one. Wait, what am I doing? Alright. I really wanted to do this at Printer Bucko, but it's fine. Should have probably went there. That's alright. Hey, it's Lucia! Save her. Let's do it. Okay, I gotta duel this guy. And I can probably throw this fight in. It's okay. Oh, well, I, have a, I might be able to win. We'll see. We'll see if I can win this fight. If I can, it'd be kind of cool, actually. But I don't know. I hope I didn't screw this up. I really want to go up, I need to go up to Pernambuco and, and fix my ships, so, okay, that's right. No big deal. I don't think. What the? Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, whoa! Catalina's back! All right, sounds good. Wah! All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so it turns out you can't just go to one, to Pernambuco. That's cool. That's all right. Yeah, short is good. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Oh, interesting. Gotcha. Okay, well, the good thing is, is we can find it. We'll get Martinez. Wait, what? How did you find us? Ah, what? Martinez, that bastard. Right? A devious plan. Oh, as it will, right? What's that? It could be. Oh, wow. Alright, sounds good. Now, if you go back in, does it let you leave or do you have to go rest up? Oh, okay. So you need to go, you do need to go rest up. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm 
gonna be cutting it kind of close here. I gotta make, I, I, I did, I'm not gonna do a safety save until I make sure that this works. We just did that. I believe if we go back in, we should be fine. Yeah, okay, great. I did, don't care. I'll go to supply. And we should get attacked. When we leave, and that's fine. Yep. You there! I am Commander Ezekiel. Gotcha. Gotcha. What? Go ahead. All right. Uh huh. Right. Oh my God. They're gonna destroy the entire world. Interesting. Sounds good. Let's go fight those pirates. For what I need to do, but I can't do it just yet. I need to go up to Pernambuco and... And, uh... Now, the good thing is the pirates spawn and they're going to come right after us. So if I can get right up to Pernambuco... This is why I, should, I tried to go there first, but... I didn't realize you could just, but it's all right. It's all right. Because I need to get my ship all ready to go. And then we'll go get those pirates. Yep. Now, hopefully... Okay, good. Capacity. Yep. Oh shoot, I gotta do cargo. Damn. Shoot, I always forget about that. Um, okay, well, this is getting a little more interesting. This one, I actually, oops, yeah, well, capacity, yeah, we're actually going to do, yeah, we'll do 240, is fine, yeah, because we got to load up on crew, it's going to take us a few days to get some crew. The good thing is, is this will give the pirates time to... I will. I did, don't care. Okay, now what I'm also going to do... is... do the 2 a.m. trick. I'm going to get myself ready for the final battle. Oh. Yep. Actually, this is good because it's going to allow the pirates to get in different order so I can attack the one I really want. Which is good. If Jack Rackham is available, I'll take him down because he's the easiest. All I have to do is defeat one pirate. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to purchase the Rune Blade. Just in case I get into a duel. And the plate mail armor just in case I get into a duel. Yep. Oops. Damn it. Wasting valuable time here. There we go. Much better. Now I'll keep getting our crew because we need. I, if I can get 200 crew, that's enough.
did. Don't care. We'll do this two more times. I probably should have gotten to Pernambuco first, but for some reason I thought you had to go to Rio de Janeiro first. So you can go to Pernambuco first. Might be able to get. It's going to be real close to four hours. See, do dee do dee do dee do dee do dee. But you need at least two hundred crew. And again, this also gives the pirates time to get closer to you. Pernambuco is the best place to do this by far. Okay, we'll do this one more time, get over 200, and then we'll go. Last bit of crew, and then we'll get ready to go. I did, don't care. And that'll be enough. Okay. Now we can do a safety save. Especially I'm going to need to because those pirates might come at me. I did, don't care. Alright, let's go. Oh, are the pirates just waiting? Were they just waiting for me the whole time? Oh no, that's all of our... Spanish people. Okay. Ah, there they are. Okay. Now. Let's see who we got here. Pirate Rudolph, Lewis Scott. He'd be easy. That's Pirate Rudolph's fleet. That's pretty easy. Oh, he's easy too. Okay, perfect. I can take on one of these easy parts. Okay. Definitely safety save. Now you gotta be very careful here because. Oh, that's too clear, Lugo. That would be idle shit. Okay, that's alright. I'll get it. Don't worry. Ooh, not a good starting position, but that's okay. Iden's going to be a problem. Well, maybe not. It could be alright. If they go north, he might have just created a little blockade for me. I might be okay. I might have to duel him. We'll see. Oh, did I not assign my crew? I didn't assign my crew. Shit! Oh, damn, 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 damn. I might have screwed this up. I might have to reset. I forgot to assign my crew. Okay, never mind. It might be alright. Yeah, I, I, I just realized I forgot to assign my crew. It's no big deal. Fortunately, I have a level star striking sword.
completely forgot to resign my crew. That was stupid. Oh, that was stupid, 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 stupid. If I win this duel, it doesn't matter, but... Golly, how stupid was that? Uh, uh... Critical error. Critical error. But again, if I win the duel, it doesn't matter. Come on, low parry, low parry. Please give me another little block. Jeez. He's just not wanting to go away. Damn. How could I forget? How could I make... Okay, come on. Get him. Yeesh! So close. Come on, low block. Please, low block. Come on. Super close. Okay, come on. Please, low block. Damn! He might challenge me to a duel. He might challenge me to a duel. We might be okay. We might be okay. How could I make such a stupid mistake? chance. But how stupid is that? At least I don't. That's why I do safety save. Damn it. Oh, that was stupid. Come on, BCS Buster. You're so much smarter than that. You're so much smarter than that. How could I forget to assign my crew? Like, that's just, seriously, that's just such a stupid mistake. Let's try this again. I still might be able to get into four hours, but... Oh, that's just so frustrating. Will do. Um, you know what? I'm gonna let him make the first move. Yep. Yeah, this is gonna go much better. Wow, what a stupid mistake that was. I'm just so embarrassed. I know better than that. Head's not in the game. He runs away, we chase him down, we got him. Still could get under four hours, but it could be about five minutes faster, but it's fine. Really? Wow. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. It's going to easily be five minutes faster. Well, we got him. Nope. But I do want to get some supplies. Yep. Okay, I 
think I can, I, I, if I rush, I can get under four hours. Wow, yeah, absolutely. Got it, okay, let's head home. Okay, so now, transfer crew. We do 30. We let 138 men swim to their deaths. Got it. There we go. Head home. Ah, frustrating. What a rookie mistake. Lost about five minutes. Well, three. It, eh. It's just a dumb mistake. If I decide to run this again, I'll obviously this again with a better thing, but we got it. I at least know it's an under four hour run. And of course, there'd be a storm. Yeah, man, but we got him. So it's just it's just frustrating, you know, when you make those stupid mistakes. Especially so late in the run where you can't restart, you know? But I'm still it's still going to be a sub 4, and that's I'm happy with that. It is going to be a sub 4, so that's good. I am happy with that. I'll take it. I may rerun it later. We'll see. But yeah, we got it all the same. <coughs> Indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a sub four. Wow, I had no idea you could finish this game with Chihuahua in under four hours. It's cool. Could have been about three minutes faster. If I had just not made that stupid mistake, but that's alright. Awesome. Oh, very cool. Alright, I love surprises. Proudest punch. Uh-huh. Yes. Hey, I'm going to be the Prime Minister! I don't know if I can lead, but I can fight. And... Time. <sighs> three hours, just under three hours and fifty minutes. <laughs> wow. Cool. I didn't realize you could beat Chihuahua Soreno in under four hours. I thought it was going to be a four hour run, but no, you can do it in under four. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Just so stupid. I might have to run it again, but but hey, we got it. Well, but it's hard to tell because the monster thing really helped, and you know, we got a lot of help from the from our opening. Ooh. But, hey, we got it. Three forty-nine. Hmm. And I'll, uh... I'll, uh... Frame count it just to see. Not bad. Three forty-nine. I'm trying to think, where could I have saved time? I'm just small little things here and there, but that that major screw up at the end cost me about three minutes. 
Spectrism. But again, the problem is I don't know the trigger in the Middle East. That could have been a great trigger. So I don't know if it's even possible to get a better time than this. It, well, it is, if I hadn't screwed up that... that ending. If I'd won the duel, it wouldn't have mattered, but... I just... I just... Ugh. It's alright. It's alright. I'll take it. I hope that someone can come along and eventually take the record. You always want the record to be better, but it's going to be the first one, so that's good. I'm happy about that. But we got it. I Now I'm going to hold the world record, hopefully, for, as of this recording, um, Otto, Ali, and Shua, which is cool. It's one of my favorite games of all time, so to be able to hold the records in it is pretty cool. But we got it. They were indeed. Again, that's why you do those safety saves. So I know I can cut this time by about three minutes. Well, I, I say that, but again, I don't know what the trigger is in... Um, I don't know what the trigger is in Masawa. If I knew what the trigger was in Masawa, I'd run this a bunch, but because I don't, that could have been a great Masawa time. I don't know. So I'm, I'm happy with this. I just, you know, it is what it is. If someone can figure that out and, and beat this record, I'd be incredibly happy about that. Because again, you always want it to be better. But this is indeed the end, and we made it. So thank you all for watching this speed run. I really appreciate it, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, until the next time we meet, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash BCS Buster. Uh, check out all the promo codes uh, in the video description below. They not only help grow the channel, but they also save you money. And until the next time we meet, take care, y'all. It's been fun. Another world record, baby.